Well, here's a revolutionary new uh, finding, I guess. It's a scientific finding from a medical community, uh, French, actually, from the land that gives you the Tour de France. Um, <laughs> and we had to put that in there, right, the Tour de France. But uh, it's about uh, teeth, tooth decay. Now, normally what happens, of course, you know, if you have tooth decay, they drill it, whatever, they fill it in with, uh, you know, hopefully something that doesn't contain mercury. But... Uh, that's how you do it, right? And then, you know, once you drill out all the decay, you, you know, it should stop, right, once you put a filling in there. But now they have a special type of gel that can actually grow back the tooth enamel itself. And uh, it's a revolutionary type of thing that was discovered in a French by a French team. They mixed um, MSH with a chemical called poly -L glutamic acid, right? And um, basically MSH is something like your growth hormone made by... Um, a gland in your body and it's this glutamic acid is a substance used to transport drugs inside the body because it can survive harsh environments so what happens is it sticks on the teeth and it causes combined with this growth hormone uh, the tooth will actually grow back and they said this could be out in three to five years three to five years so in other words um, well, let's hope it's going to be out because it's going to put a lot of, well, maybe it's going to be expensive. So maybe that's the reason it'll be out too. Because, you know, I always look at the money revenue angle of the things because uh, sometimes I think, uh, you know, there's a, there's a return on investment. So uh, they will not uh, put something out that's going to knock out all their other return on investment. But this might be an expensive procedure too. So who the hell knows? <laughs> But I guess as people get to cavities, instead of doing fillings, which is a one-time thing, they'll have a one-time tooth regrowing kit, and you'll probably have to do a revisit and a revisit, and maybe you have this might have to be applied a couple times. I don't know. But uh, I just also want to point out, in the meantime, tooth decay is actually caused by a bacteria. It's called strept Streptococcus mutans that live in the mouth and feed on the sugar in the diet. So what happens is, as that happens, this bacteria, not really the sugar itself, it's the bacteria that feeds on the sugar that causes the tooth decay mainly. And also it is bad nutrition because sometimes your teeth actually is a living organism so bad nutrition will not um, cause your teeth to be healthy. So that's another side of it. But uh, tooth decay is actually caused from a bacteria, Streptococcus mutans. But in the meantime, while this is not out yet, but it's going to be out probably in three to five years. Like I said, it's already been developed in France, they've been experimenting with on mice, it's been working great, you know. But in the meantime, if you want to get rid of the um, bacteria in the mouth, I know they have commercials out for mouthwash and things like that, but there's some old standby, some of it's oil pooling, and um, you know, they use sesame oil, but coconut oil is really good. This is coconut oil, uh, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to get it out of this bottle because uh, it would have to be a good 75 degrees or more before it's like liquid. If it gets down about 70 degrees, it's solid. But coconut oil is something that is highly, highly antibacterial, antiviral, and antifungal. So you can swish this in around in your mouth, and actually they call that oil pooling. It takes out the toxins and things like that. That can actually help um, slow down some of that tooth decay because actually it is caused by a bacteria, but it's not all that it's actually partly because of nutrition too i mean some things about involved with that another thing is colloidal silver now i keep my colloidal silver in a stainless steel container with a glass liner in it and uh, this way i could see it's full and i could see whatever the color is and i keep this side covered you know so there's no light ambient light colloidal silver if you don't know what that is that's just microscopic particles of silver suspended in water or sometimes it's actually a mixture of colloidal and ionic silver but that kills everything basically uh, so you know some people say it's unsafe to drink I don't, I don't think it's unsafe to drink at all but um, you know in excessive quantities you're not supposed to but uh, if you want to use it as a mouthwash it's actually a lot safer than ordinary mouthwashes and uh, it kills the the germs that cause bad breath, like I say, and it also causes uh, the streptococcus mutants that cause tooth decay to, you know, be destroyed. So you don't have to worry about as much tooth decay. So those are two things you can do in the meantime. 
But this new gel is going to be something out, hopefully, probably in the next um, three to five years. Like I said, it's, there's, um, there's a type of uh, growth stimulating hormone called MSH that's produced by the pituitary gland. So they put that together in combination with a chemical called poly L glutamic acid. And uh, the mixture is then turned into a gel and rubbed into cells called dental pulp fibroblast taken from uh, other human teeth I guess they got to mix it with that and then these cells are a kind of new tooth growth makes a new tooth growth tissue to grow and your teeth just grow back you know where there was a filling it just grows back I mean that would be the way it should be you know like you get a cut on your skin or something like that you know uh, you know you don't have to see a dentist to go see your fillers cut on your skin right it grows back that's the way your teeth should be too but anyway, it looks like the wave of the future is here pretty soon, uh, three to five years, coming from researchers in France. They're doing this with mice. So, um, you know, I think once this takes off, it is going to take off very well. Uh, still, it's probably going to cost you money to go to a dentist, so that's a good reason that it's probably going to come out because uh, I don't think it's going to be cheaper than fillings, but it's going to be a hell of a lot better than fillings. So in the meantime, if you want to slow down on tooth decay, I just want to recommend you maybe you do some of that colloidal silver as a mouthwash or use the coconut oil and do some uh, oil pulling too, just as an alternative type thing to do. In the meantime, where this thing comes out, but uh, looks like, uh, you know, this is pretty wild. This is pretty wild technology, to tell you the truth. I, it's, I'm just kind of flabbergasted by this because... I don't think this is a theory, and uh, like I said, they've been doing it with mice, and it looks like very, very solid. Now, considering uh, you know how much that would help people, beyond belief, beyond belief, you know. But uh, it may require a lot of trips to the dentist because you know I'm I'm assuming it's not that I know all the, everything about this because basically this is in an infancy, but it seems like it might have to be reapplied, reapplied a few times. Especially if it's something like pretty major reconstructive, you know, because I don't know what the limitations on this would be. But uh, there's definitely some serious capability of regrowing teeth, just like they were originally. And uh, I think that's some fantastic news.